Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From The Divine Tarot. We are Sunday, March 24th, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. Um, for the ones that are new, I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, and it's a timeless read. So the way that you're going to know if this is your reading is through the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head. Meaning if a, uh, a male comes out on the card, I will use the he pronoun. Okay? Feel free to change the genders and or the roles throughout the reading if you need to. That's not a problem. Just remember, though, it is a general reading. Not every read is going to be for you. And even if it is, not all of it will resonate. Okay? Chances are it won't. So that just simply means the parts that don't resonate belong to someone else. Do not try to make it fit into your timeline or your storyline. It's not advisable. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, someone and or none, as I said. And then we bring it together at the end. Please do me a huge favor if you haven't done so already. Like and subscribe. It is a equal give and take between reader and um, collective. Uh, if you want to know more about your situation, that is the best way for me to pick up on your energy more than just... I can pick up on energies even if you don't, but it's... It's more difficult so i would be truly honored if you did and i thank you thank you for being here even if you don't okay so the ones who have thank you you are my family you know i love you so very much i pray for each and every one of you i do read your messages although i've been trying to steer clear of social media the last couple of days i just need a break um so sorry uh, if i haven't gotten back to you that is the reason why it's not because i don't love you guys i do i do i miss you guys so very much but sometimes we have to hold back right there's reasons for it uh before i start this read i just want to discuss that there is um i don't know if you remember the reads that i i gave about you know the, the angel of karma there's certain people in this world there's not a lot but there's certain people placed strategically around the world to you know they're kind of like the bait. Um, people have mistreated them, have done the worst to them, blah, blah, blah. They're placed there because God is judging each and every one of us. He's weighing our hearts. Um, I got a download just earlier about um, everybody that's harmed this type of person throughout their lifetime. And I don't mean little slights and stuff like this. I mean harm them in a way where it negatively impacted their lives or being rounded up, like lassoed up like Wonder Woman. You know what I mean? All at once. It's going to be very miraculous. You're going to know that God is behind it and everybody's going down. It doesn't matter who they are, if they're affiliated with other people that did this, you know, did any harm to them. It doesn't matter. They're all being rounded up and they're all facing karma. Okay, they're under judgment. They must know it by now because things are not going very well in their life. Um, it's because of their choices, right? And they've been given ample time to turn things around, to try to mitigate and or lessen the karma, but they simply didn't want to. They were full of hubris, let's say. So that is what's going on. Let's see what the goddesses would like to say to open up this read. What is the message here for the collective, please, goddesses? How would you like to start this message? Thank you. Hecate, protection. You're very protected, okay? Hecate is, there's a story about her. She's the one that stands at the crossroads. People do magic and stuff like that. She protects with her three hounds, right? So that's the overarching energy. You are very well protected, even if you don't realize that you are, Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, Arishkigal, coercion. Somebody was coerced into doing, are they going to claim they were coerced? Or this is a coercer, you know what I'm saying? Um, coercion, that's the underlying energy. They're going to try to get you to do something you didn't want to do, or this is somebody else in the equation, that uh, they were coerced into doing stuff that they, sh they knew they shouldn't have done. The Morgan, so sovereignty. Somebody wants to be free, and are you? somebody's angry that you, you're free. You have sovereignty, maybe. Or they want to be free of this. Or they're angry that you are free. I don't know. They're jealous. Someone's in denial. Or they've been denied something. Or they denied you something that was rightfully yours. Take it as a nuba, as it applies. Okay. Anana. Well, we've got seduction. Somebody used the art of seduction. Uh, I wouldn't call it an art. <laughs> to control somebody. Okay. Tiamat. And now they must atone for what they've done. Scotty. Because they want a respite. They want a break. Mix. The goddess of night here. They were hiding under spell work. I, I'm, I'm picking up, I'm presuming. Uh, health, Fortuna. Now it's fate. It's a time for fate. 
Fortuna, Pele transformation. So something's coming to an end. It's changing. It could actually be an actual transformation or two or more. I don't know, but you're coming into prosperity. This has something to do with money or Zuli. Okay. It's time. It's time. Whoever you are, it's time. Father is blessing you for your work, for what you've gone through. You knew the assignment. You got your assignment. You knew exactly what you had to do. So let's see what it says. Shielding someone from the truth is not helping them right now. Focus on your own ability to listen rather than your need to lecture. An old flame is circling. Ensure your insurance policies are valid and up to date. Make the repairs to your home that you have been long neglecting. So somebody's home is falling apart. So listen, their homes are falling apart. Their businesses are falling apart. Their relationships, their money, their health, they're under divine judgment. That's what happens. Everything starts going left in their in the world. Pardon me. I just wanted to sip my coffee. So you must realize they're under divine judgment. And that's not even karma. Karma has not kicked in yet for some of them. Some of them, yes. So we have Arish Gugol. Don't give in to emotional blackmail. See, there's somebody's trying to coerce you. Confide in someone you trust. Make a list of your priorities and put yourself first. Be careful with whom you share your secrets. Someone is asking too many personal questions. Put boundaries in place. A power struggle incites threats. Walk away. So be careful. I think I don't think it's you. I think you're 100% protected from these people or this situation. You know what's going on in the background. You don't. You don't need to poke your nose in it because it's father's handling it. But um, whoever else is in this situation is. I'm picking up a lot of threats. Somebody that just can't take that they are not getting their way if you know what I'm saying they're going to have to face the facts okay being a bully doing stuff to harm other people to get from other people uh, is not the way to go you're going to have to answer for it protection Hecate why is she here please where are we going with this please maybe they're going to come towards you and ask you to help them protect themselves oh Somebody that came out in the reverse. So somebody, maybe you were accused of having addictions. You don't. Um, they broke a law or two, whether it's universal or 3D. But somebody's got addictions. This is justice coming through. Okay. They're chained to something, to whatever they're addicted to. Money, people, power, drugs, alcohol. Not looking too good. They maybe did some addiction spells on you so you would be chained to something. Well, it didn't take you got God protecting you. Black flower fragrance. So somebody, it's a tower, okay? So whatever this was, was built on a false foundation, giving us, giving off a false sense of security and false impressions about you or the situation, okay? So the universe is bringing it down. It's going to happen quickly. It's going to be a shock. It's a redirect, okay? It's to, to, to put these people where they belong. You, them, whomever. Uh, it adds to... Um, a seven as well. So you, again, this is a chariot. It could be the authorities coming in. This is universally driven. This is victory. Uh, one and one up here is two. So you could be a high priestess. There was a lot of lies and secrets going on. A lot of shit talking too. But uh, black magic too. Black flower fragrance. Somebody's ill. Or they have an attachment and there's a stench about them. Now why I picked that up is because when flowers start to disintegrate, they have a really horrible smell to them. And it could be in the upper body of this person, okay? I'm not speaking this onto them, but they need to get some medical attention ASAP, okay? Bride in a cage, something's over, 21, that's the world. They wanted you out of the way so they could do whatever it is they were doing. But you, know, you might have been out of the way, but you weren't out of the way. If you know what I'm saying, you could be online. <laughs> Working from home. Notice that Pluto's in the background here. What's Pluto? <laughs> the underworld. Um, somebody's obsessed with you. You could be a divine feminine or a mother. It's, it could be in the reverse. Chaotic energy, right? They wanted power and control over you or power of attorney. It's very toxic and very karmic. It could be a doppelganger trying to be you if you're a divine feminine. It could be a masculine, divine, feminine energy, if you're new here, just so you know you're a creator. You create. You're an artist. You have a beautiful heart. You are well protected here. You're a philanthropist or a humanitarian. Today for tomorrow, it's a higher power involved. It could be the courts. could be contracts. could be a marriage or commitment. This looks like a mother and daughter 
or sisters. It doesn't have to be, it could be a father, son, it could be anybody. Don't get the genders mixed up, but something was left for you for tomorrow, possibly. It could be the inheritance we keep picking up on, or life insurance, and or you're leaving something for someone. It could be a legacy that you're going into, or you're going to be leaving. Yeah, they are fated to suffer, though. It's universally driven. This is the uh, chariot, okay? They're working out of their shadow. They need to heal. They need to do that soul work, shadow work, okay? Turn things around. Hecate protection. Somebody might want protection either from you and or God. Maybe they're asking for protection now and or the authorities. It could be a drug bust gone wrong. I don't know. They're in debt. These are their addictions and now they're asking for protection. I don't know. It could be different things. We're still early on. Hecate protection. Addicted 11. If they did addiction spells on you, you were very protected. It didn't, didn't take. Toil and labor, 38. Justice yet again, 11, 11. Well, it's 11, 38, but it's 11. So somebody's working hard to bring you justice. Or you're working hard to bring justice to a situation. I don't know, plans. Or they were working in some sort of vice or, or corruption. Because it could be in the reverse as well. And then justice was committed. It could have been amoral, criminal, or both. It can they created some sort of unbalance in the universe. Bottom of the deck, occupation, 34. Uh, it could be authorities. This is the chariot. It could be traveling for your occupation. They wanted to stop your occupation. If you're in service to the divine and they try to muss up your work, try to impede you, get in the way, that's even more karma. Okay? A gift is coming towards you or you have spiritual gifts or you are the gift, okay? The gift that keeps on giving could be that way as well, just to say. Um, 17, you are divinely protected and guided. This is divine intervention, divine providence. You could be 100% healthy, a healer, you're balanced. You could be out in the public eye. You could be on your north node as well. So now because you're on your north node, the divine is going to gift you with something beautiful. You had integrity, loyalty, and honesty as well. Now, this is, again, a tower. Now, they're thinking back of all the things that was said and done, and they're going, holy shit, can it be? Yeah, it can be. Everything you said was right. This is change here, nine. Going within, doing that soul work. You're the hermit, maybe, alone. You were alone against a whack of people, possibly. Now, they could have stolen some property, or they're losing their home, or their stability, business, whatever. They could have stole property. False person here. Now, somebody's concerned here. Could be secret societies, covens, groups, anything like that, or cults. Thirty-three. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm saying there's bad apples in every or organization or affiliation, and it's making the rest of them look bad. So they gotta act. Okay, they gotta take some sort of action, do the right thing, extradite themselves <laughs> from the situation. And I don't mean slyly. I mean, okay, this person was part of our organization. It, they gave us a black eye. We wish to rectify this. By bringing the truth out, possibly. You know what I'm saying? But you have arisen here. You are an ascended master, possibly, or working with them. So you might be going, you might have been going through ascension symptoms. I know I have for the last week or so. Hecate, protection, addiction, 11, and toil and labor, 38. One more. The Phoenix, what I tell you? The Phoenix rising. Come back to life. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Congratulations. Bottom of the deck. The snake. Of course. That just makes sense, doesn't it? All stanky, slithering around the Garden of Eden. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Well, somebody's going to get their comeuppance. We have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So, yeah, it's all coming out in the wash. But, by the way, if you hear any background noise, I'm doing my laundry, so excuse the background noise. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So they were gaslighting you and others to go along with their schemes. The golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. They could have sent a whole bunch of love bombers towards you. Primarily warlocks. It didn't work. It's a grim le reaper here. Relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. 
Wow. Healing hearts. Time to heal. Heal your heart. Okay. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak. Pain. Separation. Deception. Shocking attack. So be careful. Somebody wants to call you. Could be another love bomber. I don't know. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Could be good. Could be bad. How's hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand and gambling. So be careful. They want to know what you know, what you're going to do next, blah, 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 blah. My suggestion, you don't have to listen to me. If this is nefarious dealings, don't talk to them. Avoid speaking to them. Hecate Protection, Addiction 11, Toil and Labor 38, The Phoenix. Why are we here, please? What is the message for the collective? What would you like the collective to know, please? I'm picking up this uh, other woman, if there is another woman. It could be another man. Um, wants to be you. They hate you, but they want to be you. You know what I mean? So the, they're actually a super fan. So That golden lasso might might be going around. All of these people taking you down, taking them down. A la Wonder Woman. <laughs> Yeehaw! What's the message, please, spirit? Boy, this coven, this group, or whatever, are in debt. A third party's in debt. They're losing money. They stole money. Whatever this is. Somebody lost money to these covens buying uh, spell work. Bonehead. <laughs> Thank you, Star in Reverse. They have no divinity, or they've lost it. They have no spiritual protection. They could be sick, feeling ashamed of themselves. This is not wish fulfillment. They're losing hope. They don't want to be seen in public. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. That's a group or a coven or a friend group. All celebrating here, right? And in this deck, it looks like they're all celebrating. But they're celebrating a new life. No, 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 no. They're celebrating somebody that is innocent. Maybe young. But they're ready to bash this, this innocent little chick here over the head with these cups. Look at the maniacal look on this one's face. Oh, we're your friends. Oh, we're your friends. Are your family? Oh, yeah, we're workmates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're ready. They couldn't wait to bash you over the head. You're all celebrating your pain, in other words. Yeah. You could be celebrating in the near future. You have a new, uh, new passion opportunity, new beginnings. You have growth and expansion here. Somebody could be a third party using sex to get their way, right? Or something new is coming into your life. They can't block it. Somebody's taking some sort of action. They want to come back, get a cup in reverse, or they're going to have to take this loss, whatever this is. Or somebody settled for somebody. I don't know what this is. They can't come back from this, though. Or you're not coming back. Maybe somebody thought, oh, I can get this person back with sex. Oh, now they want to come back and reconcile with you because you are, you know, your life is improving. You have beautiful... Options and opportunities coming your way. Growth and expansion. The Maypole. Sorry, it was sideways. The Maypole. So this is going to happen by May, probably. I don't like giving timelines, but... Or it could be birthdays in May. The worst has happened. This is a nightmare. Somebody's unbothered, maybe. They're doing stuff. They can't block you. This is a nightmare for them, yeah. So this king of wands in reverse, male or female, but it's typically a poser and a player, somebody that's a coward. Uh, they're a leader, not a follower, though they want the control. You know what I mean? They don't do the noble thing. They have no morals, ethics, or honor. They're, they don't protect or defend the underdog like a king of wands in the upright would normally do. They could be dabbling in magic as well. Somebody could be losing their faculties, mental faculties here. Could be very scared that... Um, this, this group or this coven is going to take action against them. They're a poser and a player, okay? They want power and control, but they can't even control themselves. Somebody's angry. Something's getting around here. Words getting around fast. This is communication, action, and or travel, eight of wands. They're angry they can't block you online, possibly, or this something's over. Lessons have been learned, but I'm pretty sure it's they're angry they can't block you. Or maybe you do have a very visible public. Um, maybe you're out in the public and something's happening quickly here for you. 
you're grabbing attention. They don't like this. Or this is going to be on the news. They don't like this. All their nefarious dealings on the news. Yeah. Ending a cycle. Yeah. You're unbothered. Eight of swords in reverse. You let go of, of any kind of obstacles in your way. Uh, they have to release something quickly. Eight, eight. Or they're being released quickly. It's a tower moment. Third parties get let go and or this groups get let go or let groups let go of this person, this player energy. I'm picking up somebody that's got such an ego. It sounds like a narc, but I'm not a therapist. I'm just saying, okay, I'm not a doctor. That they wanted a harem. And some of these people fell for it because they were on the take too. They whoever this was that was trying to scam you is getting scammed by them. Whether it's a third party or a group or a coven, you know what I mean? This is a tower. It's happening quickly. It's going to be a big shift to redirect because somebody broke the law. Uh, they were amoral and or criminals. And there's going to be a writing. Yeah, somebody's very greedy, selfish, jealous, like I said, unstable. They wanted you this way or they are this way now. Um, it could be somebody, somebody left you for. Male or female, doesn't matter. They have no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. You cannot trust this person. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Get a swords in reverse, the tower in the upright, yeah. They didn't want to let go, it didn't serve. If somebody you were dealing with in the past that was non-committal, um, they didn't want to commit, but yet they didn't want to be alone. They always thought you'd come back because their ego is so big, possibly, or always thought they could come back to you. The ships are coming in, they can't move on. Maybe they're stranded somewhere at a distance. They didn't foresee this, their plans fell through, and they weren't prepared for this. They're in debt here. They have no money. They're at a distance. They bore false witness against you. They could have perjured themselves. Whatever they tried to do, it didn't work. Okay? This is bad financial news. They didn't do their homework. Oh, I know everything. I know, you know, the know-it-all, right? They lost a lot of money. They could be arrested. There's illumination. You're... You're not struggling. They wanted you to struggle. Yeah, you're not struggling. They wanted to affect your money, but plans fell through. They didn't work. It went the other way. You know what I'm saying? Now they're, they're acting like martyrs because it's illumination. Everybody knows. You're not struggling. You're not wasting time, money, energy on these people ever again. You're, you're, you're kosher. <laughs> King of Cups. Male or female. You're emotionally stable and secure. You're stoic. You're not telling people what you think or how you feel. It's none of their business. But you're highly intuitive and psychic. Hmm. You love very deeply, but you know what? There's limits to unconditional love. I keep saying that. Okay, they say, oh, unconditional love, you're supposed to love me no matter what I do. No, that's not true. God doesn't want us to suffer, be oppressed, have magic sent our way, be cheated on, be stolen from, um, be taken out of this world before our time. Okay? That's not unconditional love. Oh, I cheat on you over and over and over again. You have to forgive. No, I don't have to forgive you. I don't have to even deal with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? People lie. They oppress you. They laugh at your pain. Nah, you don't have to keep loving this person. You could keep nothing this person because that's the opposite of love. It's nothing. It's not hate. Okay? Showing no interest in another person is the opposite of love. So you, Spiritual people, when they're upset with you, when you've done the most, they nothing you. And that's worse, I think, than hate. Because hate, you have to show emotion. You have to have emotion still in you to hate. Wow. You, you don't have that anymore. You're nothing in them. Wow. They are nothing to you. You're innocent. You're sweet and you're kind. They want to apologize now. Or you're starting something new. Or somebody's figuring out that somebody's got a crush on you. Take his blinds and somebody's jealous. They lied. They were vindictive and vile. Revengeful. Holding back. Trying to be you. They're trying to impersonate you. They hate you, but they want to be you. This is a poser, a player. Maybe they're both players here. They feel entitled to stop whatever is going on in your world, maybe. Or whatever is going on in their world. They're not getting away with it, okay? They're trying to stop. It ain't going to stop. They can't escape this. They can't outrun it. That's the Queen of Swords in reverse, yeah. Because you're an earth angel. I told you, you're the angel of karma. You're very balanced. And they're jealous of you. 
Somebody's unstable here. They were greedy and selfish. They abused their power and authority if they had it. They were lazy and jealous and codependent. They wanted you to appear that way, possibly. Unstable and jealous. You weren't. Cool as a cucumber. Somebody's sitting in their throne. Cool as a cucumber. Somebody could be at a distance watching you as well. This could be a, another person that's in love with you, maybe. They could have stolen money from you at one point. They wanted you to appear unstable in front of the third party. Because they chose the third party. which was obviously the third party and or this group of friends or karmic. Okay, they didn't want to show the people or this third party that they actually cared about you. They remained stoic. Because, you know, they, they were in on this, this, I don't know, this fraud and or this theft and or this stripping away of all, all that's yours. It could be even spiritual gifts they were after. They were really dirty self-serving a bully um but they fell in love with you <laughs> when you're around divine love it's different than what you're used to it penetrates deep you know what i'm saying you don't forget it but they have to appear stoic like they don't care okay you keep doing that keep lying to yourself <laughs> They bully you. It's like the kid in the, in the schoolyard. They bully you because they love you. Or they tried to bully you because they love you. They got caught. They have to complain. Totally. They, they're going to kind of complain about their feelings. Yeah. Face their fears. Tell the truth. Moon in reverse here. You put up some fierce boundaries, though. Nine of Wands in the upright. They don't know how you got away with this because they did. They threw everything but the kitchen sink at you. Maybe they're throwing the kitchen sink at you right now because they're out of options. It ain't turning around. You're still stable and secure right here. You're divinely protected and guided. Ips. Quite healthy. You're still out there shining, administering to others, pouring the healing waters on others. Congratulations. Now they want to reconcile with you because they're out of money, maybe? Yeah, they're trying to steal an inheritance, spiritual or otherwise. This family discord. They're losing long-term stability, long-term relations here. Could be losing a lot of stuff here because it was all illusions. They all got bribed and blackmailed and or tempted into doing whatever this is. Maybe they had multiple options, which I, I'm picking up they did. But this is hopeful, wishful thinking. They were deluded, okay? This was a cover-up of some sort. They don't know how you got out of it. They're not happy doing stuff in the dark. They could be ill at this moment. They're not happy. They thought they'd be happy. They're not happy with your little harem and your posse and your fucking flying monkeys. What's wrong with you? This is not what you wanted. Hmm? Wouldn't that have made you feel like a big boy or a big girl? It's not what it's cracked up to be, is it? Oh, well. They're trying to hide this. There's just confusion here. <laughs> There's a lot of confusion. A lot of drinking, too. I suggest you let go of the drink. Okay, because it's just clouding, muddying the waters here, clouding up everybody's thinking, thought processes, okay? <laughs> I don't know what they thought. Bribing and tempting people would just uplift them. They could ascend. It doesn't work that way. Look at this. Giving out false information about a person. They could have lost a child or something like this. My condolences if that's... They're losing family. There's no new... There's no good... Happy memories here. You're not going back to the past. They're not happy that you're not coming back. There's no reconciling this. Uh-oh. Unrequited love. They didn't invest in you. They didn't want other people investing in you. Uh-oh. Poor investment here, okay? I'm pretty sure it has something to do with money, inheritance, uh, life insurance, whatever. Family money, legacies. This is the end of the road. You can't go any further. You get what you give, okay? They gave nothing. They get nothing. They're losing money really quickly. So they want to lose this family, this, these connections? Aren't you a peach? Well, you ain't doing it for me now, so I'm going to let go. But they're all getting mad at this person. Or they're all figuring out that this cult club coven is coming after them now. I don't know. Third party? I don't know. They're figuring out what's going on here, okay? End of the road. They have to relocate. They've lost a great deal of money fucking around with spell work. Yeah, spell work, but I tell you. 
Knight of Cups in reverse. Fucking around with casual hookups, maybe um, buying the avails of, you know, prostitutes. Um, they're un... They're un... Oh, I can't say it. Anyways, there's could be a love bomber. They're sending a lot of love bombers, spending money on these people to come love bomb you, to destabilize you, so they can tell stories about you, you know what I mean? Accuse you of doing stuff. They wanted your, your guard to go down so they can have a foot in. But they they didn't realize when they were doing the spell work, they had no spiritual protection. So they opened themselves up to s spiritual attack. They're feeling defe defeated and overwhelmed right now. They didn't protect you. They didn't defend you or your honor. If this is professionals of any kind dealing with any kind of money, they did not do their fiduciary duties, okay? Hmm. They're feeling overwhelmed. They have no excuse for what they've done. They have no defense. Maybe they were planning an attack, if you know what I'm saying. But somebody bossed up and took back their power. This could be you or someone else. They have a duty to protect you and your interests. It could be family. It could be anybody. A professional. And they did not do it. They wanted your guards to come right down. By sending these love bombers, right? These insincere, lying pieces of you-know-what, right? If that's what makes you feel like a man and a leader, go right ahead. I, I got news for you, though. Now they're watching their spine. They were under surveillance all this while. Whoa. This was fraud and theft. They breadcrumbed you, used you, abused you, treated you really horribly. Not equally yoked. They're having financial difficulties here. So it could be an investigation if it's family money or any kind of monies. They're, they're wondering where this money went. There's there, Somebody's looking. Or they're, you could be online. I don't know. They want to affect your money. You're, yeah, you're online. I think you're a high priestess. You're not saying much. Didn't we affect you? Didn't we do these stop money spells and stop, stop um, success spells and all this shit? There's a lot of lies and secrets here. Didn't it work? Didn't it work? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you have a direct connection with, with Source, with God. Okay, as above, so below. This is um, somebody that's very in intuitive, very skilled. Okay, they don't say much, but they observe. Male or female doesn't matter. When God tells you to speak, you speak. Right here, you didn't say much. You just knew. Okay, it's a deep knowing. You're bounced between your dark and light, masculine and feminine. And they were doing secret crimes behind your back, having to do with money. Maybe uh, ID fraud, credit fraud. Wanting you to look, appear unstable. Why? Because you're spiritual and because you didn't say anything. So they thought they had a, you know, they were entitled to. I don't know. You could be a, a spiritualist of some kind. You're very balanced. They could be secretly, they could have been secretly juggling you and your money. Playing games with you online. But you're, you, if you're online, have an online presence, as a spiritualist of any kind, male or female, you are very stable and secure. You're in alignment. You ended the cycle, okay? Maybe they didn't realize. Cycles ended. Lessons have been learned. You're divinely protected and guided here, okay? This is protection. This is victory as well. You could be traveling and or moving at the moment. You broke free from these people. Devil in reverse. You have no um, codependency issues. You're not toxic. You are not a karmic. You detached, from these people and ever since you did but when you took your energy away from these people their lives started going sideways going left and you what you regained your stability here you're single abundant independent self-sufficient stable and secure you could be a business owner minding your own business in your own garden right it's, it's time to to harvest congratulations okay you could be also celibate and they're heartbroken over this can you imagine they're heartbroken because you have no burdens you unburdened yourself. You're not taking on these people's burdens anymore. Maybe they were the type that would call you when everything went wrong in their lives and you were there to help them. But you're not doing this anymore. You ended this cycle. And they're heartbroken. Oh, dear. Can you imagine? Yeah. This is illumination. This is a spiritual awakening, a spiritual calling. You, you answered that call from the divine. They're under divine judgment, and they know it. This is like accountability. These people have to take accountability. They want a second chance with you. Maybe they're realizing it could have been somebody that you had a higher level soulmate connection with. Or they're realizing that third party got in the way. I don't know. Take his supplies. 
and or you used your higher wisdom okay this is a contract of some sort spiritually there's spiritual contracts and if they're, they're not fulfilled well there's a heavy price to pay for it especially if somebody got in, in between a club a person a, a coven an organization yeah 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 okay something to do with they have to take accountability here so a decision's been made or you've made your decision or divine the divine has and they've blocked them you overcame and persevered and you put up fierce boundaries and now they've been disempowered because they're paranoid right now okay because they're blocked from something from money they could have been um interfered with your mail and or your money online or they did not give you money or they were very unfaithful irresponsible and immature and lazy they can't come correct so they've been disempowered they've been humbled um they're scared intimidated they had no integrity loyalty or honesty they can't stop you See, this person's trying to stop this bull, right? They can't stop you at all. Not when the divine's behind it. Yeah, you're stable. They can't stop your stability, okay? They can't stop where you're going. They were greedy and selfish, okay? They didn't want to let go of what didn't belong to them. Very greedy and selfish. They wanted the whole loot, all of it. You kidding me? They wanted power and control over you. They were very possessive and selfish. But they fell from grace here, nine of cups in reverse, putting on an act, maybe even trying to be you, impersonate you to get this money. But guess what? They lost their position, whether it's in the 3D, 5D, or higher. We could have been demoted if it was a, a divine being. This is not wish fulfillment here. They were holding back your wish fulfillment. This is an empty victory. No, nope. it's them. They lost. They were um, very greedy, okay? They were very jealous of you, envious. They were petty and they were cruel. They abused you. And I think the truth's coming out now because everybody that got in on this with them are taking on losses, including them, okay? They were willing to do whatever it took to win, win at any cost. And that means breaking the law, whether it's universal and or 3D or both. They thought they were super smart. Look at me, I've got all the swords, I'm super smart. I'm a mastermind. No, you're not. You're a criminal. You have to walk away from this. Yeah, this could be the police coming in. Something's happening very, very quickly, going into poverty very quickly. Knight of Swords in the Upright. Someone's determined here. They wanted to see you like this down and out, but now they're going they're going towards poverty at a lack of a loss. They're in their emotions. You're emotionally stable and secure. You could have a counterpart here, like I said. You're not coming back. No. You you remained loving. You kept your heart open. Male or female doesn't matter, okay? They're highly intuitive and psychic. Your cup runneth over, okay? The divine loves you very, very much, okay? You carry the light, and you stayed close to the light. You knew. You knew. It's just a matter of time, right? You remained emotionally stable, mature, and balanced. And that's not what they wanted. They wanted to pass you off as somebody that was crazy, right? They were holding back from you. They tried to impersonate you. They felt entitled. Somebody was a poser, a player, very confrontational, very in-your-face, argumentative. Their shit don't stink. They could have been taking credit for your work ideas and, and, and um, achievements. They were trying to hold you back from a, some sort of a um, soulmate connection. Could be family, friend, and or love. Yeah, this is love. Well, higher level, a higher level soulmate connection that would be healing for both of you that you've been waiting for. Somebody was waiting. They're contemplating. Something's over. They got to change. Maybe this is your higher level soulmate con uh, connection thing. You know what? I got to change. I got to heal. They're praying. They're contemplating. They need to put something to rest. They need to change. Something's over. This is the Phoenix. Wow. You rested. You healed. You're, you're, you're rising now. This is the Phoenix. You used your higher wisdom. Damn. They didn't put the effort into your relationship, whoever this is, and they betrayed you. It's a, it's a, the ultimate betrayal. It's a harsh and painful end for whoever this is. Whatever they tried to do, because they're a narcissist, I knew it. They abused you. They, the pathological liar. They tried to block your way. Yeah. Blocked away from somebody coming towards you with an offer. You are, you are always, you stood your ground. Okay, you have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. One more. Oh, okay, that flew out. 
Yeah, they try to devalue you, or this is the one that was trying to impersonate you. They wanted a power of attorney or something. This could be a, an ending of this person. Very karmic and toxic here. They wanted to end you. Yeah, it's a reversal of fortune, a change of direction. Somebody is getting karma. Now, karma, because they were greedy and selfish and very jealous of you. They wanted you to appear unstable. They wanted to destabilize you, wanting to affect your life negatively, like I said in the beginning, right? Anybody that does you wrong, that's neg had a negative impact in your life, is being rounded up with a golden lasso. Doesn't matter if they know each other or not. They're being rounded up and they're all getting their, kar their karma all at once. It's going to be miraculous. This is the universe coming through. Universally driven, this is victory. Bringing back balance to an imbalanced situation. Radical acceptance. Taking accountability. It's awareness, okay? You overcame so much because of these people. And you're still bright as a, you know, still happy. This is the sunflower. It's still shining bright. You faced the light. You faced God. That you kept your face towards God. This is universal, uh, universally driven. This is victory, okay? Something didn't work. Somebody lost their job. They're hiding and cloaking. They wanted you to lose your job, lose your home. Oh, I say. That's so, so, they have to bring back balance, okay? Some, somebody lost their job because of what they did. Lost their home, lost their uh, their, their relationship. They were noncommittal, lost their business, their stability. This is what they wanted for you. And it's turned around on them. They're hiding and cloaking a lot here. They don't want to be investigated or scrutinized. But the writing's on the wall. Okay? Because they lied. They threw rocks and hit hands about you. There's been no communication. It's bad news. They were a drama starter. They felt entitled. Very juvenile. They were a narcissist. Pathological liar, user, abuser, cold calculating and cruel. They abused you. And they got this group involved. And now they're all fighting here. Because this is they've been all betrayed here. It was out of jealousy, pettiness, right? It was out of, um, they wanted you to compete and fight with for them or, or with them to, to make you look crazy. You know, this is a betrayal. They've all been betrayed. This is a harsh and painful end. Somebody's being left out in the cold. They're feeling sorry for themselves, okay? Um, I think the whole crowd that they were dealing with is leaving them behind. They were bored and dissatisfied with life. Oh, well, fucking get a car, uh, get a, uh, a hobbit, a hobbit, woo, okay, get a hobby. You know what I mean? They were doing magic. There was a, a lot of deception, illusions, manipulation, and lies. They were two-faced. Okay, they were corrupt. The truth and clarity is coming through. And they're feeling ashamed of themselves. They could be sick. It could be karma comes out in different ways. They have no spiritual protection. They lost their divinity if they had any. They had no faith. If they had any faith, they believed in old stinky. Okay? This is not wish fulfillment. They're losing hope. Because they broke the law. Something was unbalanced. Universal, 3D, or both. Was amoral. They stole money. Blocked your money. They're in debt. Maybe put you in debt. They want to walk away from this. They're facing the unknown. They're emotionally withdrawn here because you're not walking away from a collaboration or a, fall, a contract here. And this could be um, credit abuse too, like um, credit fraud as well. They want you to walk away from whatever it is you're, you're creating here. They tried to scapegoat you. This is a family or a group that's going down that they collaborated with. They're a fool because you're innocent. You took a leap of faith. You weren't afraid. You moved forward regardless of what they were doing to you because you have a new life ahead of you, new beginnings. You went past these hard, these mountains here, meaning hardships, okay? You got past that, okay? You're ready for a new timeline, a new life. You know, these people are not heroes. They're zeros. You know what I'm saying? They're grieving and regretting what they've done. They're grieving what they've missed, what they lost, instead of the true connection that they had. In this deck, though, if you noticed, the two aren't behind this person. The two are here, so they're grieving everything now because they're seeing how it was all connected. They lost you. They lost everything because you were that person. You were that angel. So, yeah, they blocked themselves here. They didn't know. I didn't know. So this is the old chestnut. Maybe they're going to court. They broke the law or they're dealing with a dark high priest or divorce or separation. It's the old chestnut. This has come up over and over again, okay? Yeah. It's going, it's going to come out into you won this court case or somebody was a nar a raging narcissist, this dark um, warlock or energy manipulator or they broke the law. It's going to hit the news here. Somebody could be on a 
on the lam, they could be on the run, 6'6", six, six, or like I said, this could be somebody at a distance that they used. So it has a lot of followers maybe, um, narcissistic, wanting, they, they want people to cheer them on and, and celebrate for them, you know. They want the attention, somebody at a distance they contacted. But they keep seeing this is victory, success, reward, recognition here. You're, you're, you keep moving forward. Somebody wants to come meet you in calm waters. You could be this queen of wands in the upright, a leader of some sort, male or female. You're very protected. You're very bold. You're carefree. You're creative. You're confident. You're very protected here, okay? You're magnetic right now at this moment with what you're creating. And you're not afraid. You have no fear. And they're trying to block you. Two of Wands in reverse. Block any kind of opportunities coming towards you. It's been going on for a long time trying to block you. If you're online, they were trying to shadow ban you for ages. Like for me, they were, they, they, they've been shadow banning my mine for ages. And YouTube knows. All you have to do is take the screenshots, take their IP addresses, blah, blah, blah. They will be dealt with, okay? So Hecate, you're protected. Congratulations. I wish could go coercion. So people were coerced into doing stuff, and now they're going to have to suffer the consequences. Use your own brains, okay? Think for yourselves. If you know it's wrong, don't let people talk you into stuff. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be holding the bag. They won't. P people try to make it look like their hands aren't dirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, addictions. Somebody's addicted to doing something to you, or they're addicted to you. Of course, if they if they experience any kind of your love or any of your energy, they're addicted to it. But somebody's addicted to something else here. They're chained to something. It's a black flower fragrance. Please go see a doctor, okay? If you're suspecting you're not feeling well, this is uh, a shock. It's going to be a shock. It's going to happen quickly. It's, it's meant to redirect. This is the universe bringing this down. Okay, so toil and labor, you're working hard. Somebody's working hard on your behalf to bring you justice, or they worked hard to bring you down. Take it as a plus, could be in the, in, the, in the reverse. But you're getting your justice here, maybe through your occupation. Somebody's working hard. You are the phoenix. You are rising, okay? New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change your mind. So now they're looking at you going, I changed my mind. This person's in a position where, you know, we can't stop them, let's join them. Well, that doesn't work that way either. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Well, the snake will slither away. The snake can't, is no, has no power over you, okay? It's stupid to think that they do. How are we ending the read for the collective for today, please? What is a parting message for the collective? For you took back your power, you bossed up. You could be dealing with an emperor. This could be you. You could be this emperor. The emperor is all four kings in the deck. You've gone through the highs and lows of each and every king. You learned your lessons and elevated. Usually you're of an age. It doesn't have to be. It could be a young uh, body, but yet an old soul. But chances are it's usually of an age. You have established business or you're established in whatever you, you deal with your leader. It could be a father. It could be a female in this energy. It's just you're in a leadership position, right? It could be a boss. It could be a leader. You you make right choices for all involved. Um, Twenty two. You're right on your path here. Congratulations. That's master number. You're on path. You could be on your north node. They wanted to psyche you drive your spiritual yeah, rose rose. Well, wow. somebody's going to give you flowers. Six balance. This is the lovers. A third party got involved. They felt like they deserved your place in the in the in the cosmos. I don't think so. Uh, that you're going towards a higher level soulmate connection, or you used your higher wisdom. You've ascended here. You're watched over by the angels. You had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. That's an eight twenty six. They didn't. You have power and control. They don't. They were acting out of lust and out of ego. You weren't. Yeah, you're an earth angel. Fourteen. You bring balance to the situation. You're very healing. You're here for a reason. They're not. Well, I guess to help elevate you. You know what I mean? I I, I don't like what karmics do. I do feel for them. Um, I know it's an oxymoron, but these people are hurting, obviously, but they choose not to heal. But they are. They, on the other side, they made a, a contract with you to help you elevate you because karmics are meant to be in our world just for a short period of time. It doesn't matter what relationship, family, friend, love, uh, work, 
you know, it doesn't matter who they are. They're only meant to be in your world just a short period of time for you to learn your lessons and then to move on. Okay? So they agreed to do this. Did they agree to be the bad guy or bad girl in your life? To, to enact this waking up for you because when we come into this world we don't remember our, our memories are wiped clean of the past lies we've had and or of home the divine why we're here that's old stinky he doesn't want you to remember these people are put in place to activate you and they do it brilliantly so on a higher level than 3d 5d and up i understand and i thank them but on the other hand, we are human too, and it's it's hard to wrap your head around it sometimes because they do have they have caused so much hurt and loss. So what do you do with that? You you give it to God. You surrender your feelings to God about the situation, and you learn to heal, because if you don't, then you're not you're not progressing. Okay. And yes, we've all been karmic in our lives. Me too. I've done karmic shit, but I chose to heal. I try. I chose to be better, do better. Some some don't, like I said. Okay. So for Amrith, longing, martyrdom, regret, past mistakes. You may feel after a long personal journey that you've had to make sacrifices in order to change things. Although your journey has been long and at times difficult, life often works out for the best, even though you may be questioning the motives of others, and that this has all been in vain. There's a sense you may be feeling unfocused, lost, unloved, and uncertain of which path you should now take. The stability of what you once were familiar with will now change. And although you may feel fearful of the changes ahead, moving forward can only be a good thing. This is a time of no regrets as looking back serves no purpose because there's nothing there. You can't go back to the past. It's done with. It's over with. Same with holding grudges. Why? You can't, go to, you can't look at the future because you don't know what's going to happen, right? The best we could do is stay in the now. Use the negative aspects of past experience as your greatest lessons and gain strength from this. It's said that life never throws us more than we can handle, which is true. This is your time to show the world what you're truly made of. Congratulations. Prisoner of mourning, disappointment, lethargy, and lost love. Stop. I mean, I can't tell you to stop mourning. But you must put one foot in front of the other and still mourn, if you know what I'm saying. Eventually, you'll heal. Um, if it's a lost loved one, you never stop mourning for them. But you do find a a way to keep going, let's say. It's a bittersweet memories. You keep them alive in your memory. Keep talking about them. That's how you keep them alive. But just know, if it is a loss of a person, in that sense, they're always going to be there. They're always there. They're, they haven't gone far. They've just gone home after, after their work day. Um, time is different for us down here. We're here as a school its work is to help elevate us elevate our souls um on the other side when you're lost your loved one goes departs or you you wind up home it's like coming home after a day's work oh that was a rough day yeah i'm gonna go sit over here have a drink and just wait for the spouse to come home you know what i'm saying to them it's they can, they'll see you in a few minutes they know you're coming home because the time just it doesn't exist so it could be 60 years down here since the last time you saw them but over there it's like six minutes ah okay i hear them in the garage they're home you know what i mean so this is really not there's no parting up there and even though it, even if it does take a little extra time and they're oh, what's taking them let me go see where they are they come and check on you you know what i'm saying they're always there with you they they're not gone you will see them again so you've given your emotional energy to another and may now be feeling let down, disappointed, and vulnerable. There's confusion around you as to where things went wrong as when you fall in love, you love completely and put all your, put all in you, into a relationship. Never put your, all your eggs in a basket, okay? You've got to stay individual. You know what I mean? Independent. Be assured the, the issue is not with you. The timing for this union was not right and someone better will come into your life and the anger and hurt you feel now will seem a million miles away. Love will soon come into your life again, and any negative feelings you now hold will disappear. The tide is about to turn for you. You may not know at this stage what you need, but you certainly know what you no longer require. Your vulnerability at this time is understandable, but do not let negative experiences hold you back. Remind yourself that you are a beautiful soul and you deserve better. We all do. Okay? Even the karmics. Yes, I know. It sounds really weird, but even the karmics. We all do. We're all here doing a job. Okay? Six. Falling from grace, divine protection, despair, healing. 
Whether you feel you have psychic abilities or not, rest assured you're being looked after by forces greater than all of us. Once you accept that beginnings and endings are inevitable, your life will flow again. If you've experienced major changes, it's okay to feel apprehensive and fearful. However, this it goes hand in hand, right? However, this card suggests that you need nurturing in order to heal yourself and let go of a closed chapter in your life. You may be grieving over a physical death, the death of a project, an ending of a relationship, and so on. But please know you are you are not abandoned, nor alone, and the message here is to remind you that there is angel protection around you. They're holding you, okay? Turn to them, even if you say you don't believe. You got nothing to lose by turning to the angels. And oh uh, no. Ask for Archangel Michael then, if you're or you're unsure, okay? Angels, I, I heard that loud and clear. Angels represent faith, hope, and healing. Take some time to sit quietly and connect with their energy through meditation or visualization. The healing process is about to begin, so congratulations. Maybe you've been li living your life not so great. It's time to change now. This It's never too late, okay? You know that story where that man, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, and I am paraphrasing. I don't recall it word for word, but there's this man that that didn't believe in God, and he sinned since, and he all kinds of sin, and he was down and out, or something like that. He was on a bridge or something like that, and he thought, "I'm gonna end it. I got nothing to look forward to. This God doesn't exist. There's nothing good in this world. And I'm really down. You know what I'm saying?" And he jumps, and right before he hits the water. He asks God for forgiveness. Save me, God. Save me, Jesus. Whatever. Save me, Allah. You know, whatever word you want to use for God's source. Guess what? Right before he hit the water, he was saved. It's never too late. Split second before his death. It's never too late. Do you understand? But I would, I recommend you don't leave it to the very last second like that. Okay? Don't you want to live? I mean, really live? in your true authentic self and on your purpose why why wait to have to come back and do it all over again do it now do it now so angels what's the parting message please i got goosebumps king of cups yeah some is very stoic they're in love it could be a father figure too 69 15 they had addictions here maybe they were karmic God seeing everything. Restitution finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. So somebody's going to come clean here. They're, they could have been malicious. They could have been really ruthless, abusive, very dangerous. It could be in the reverse. Very toxic. Four wants. It has something to do with family, a, a marriage, a commitment, property, home, business. Twin flame even. Mahasiya five. There's a higher power involved. That has something to do with commitment. I was going to say corruption. It could be corruption. Commitment, marriage, contracts, God the Savior. Or uh, it could be a higher power, like belief systems. Rectification. It helps one live in peace with everyone. It could be a dark high priest that was doing stuff, and now they're, they're, they're re reassessing things. I believe it was Anton LaVey, a uh, Satanist or Luciferian. I can't remember what he was, what he called himself. Right on his deathbed took it all back because spirit showed him the truth and he was in remorse I think it was him or it was someone else another person like that two of pentacles making decisions here bringing back balance and stability here Poyal 56 justice God who supports the universe fortune and fame fulfills any request they were doing this for fortune and fame or you're going to be Famous, or you are famous, take it as applies, okay? Ten of Cups, famous, fa family. I don't know, they were coming after your fortune or your spiritual inheritance, 3D or both. Ten of Cups, okay? You're going to be celebrating. This is emotional fulfillment. 71, you had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They didn't. They wanted to control your money or control you. God, master of the universe. Divine warrior, confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. Two of Swords, they've been blocked. They didn't see this coming. They're acting like the victims. Uh, that they try to turn you into. Yeah, they're in denial. Oh, well, Aniel, 37. They're gold diggers and cloud chasers. This is the universe changing. This is change, okay? Divine timing. God, Lord of all virtues, breaking the circle, lifts opposing barriers and brings victory. This could be somebody in your family and or it's affiliated with your family. This could have been one cycle after another generation. 
and it's now ending. You're at peace, okay? Three of Wands. Your ships are coming in. Maybe God didn't show you exactly how this was going to wind up. They certainly didn't see this coming, okay? But you knew the end result. You just didn't know the details, right? Sitael, three, your divine feminine. Masculine or feminine, doesn't matter, okay? The God of hope, construction of the universe, help with great works, protection from adversaries. So he protected you. He's sheltering you from the worst, seeing the worst of what's happening in their world because they know you have such a good heart. They don't want you getting involved with their karma or taking on their karma. So they're sheltering you from that. You're going, well, well why can't I see? Well, because you have a good heart, okay? They don't want you to hurt anymore. You are a queen of pentacles. Stability is coming towards you or it's a queen of pentacles justice. What I tell you, balancing things out. You're stable and secure, okay? 55, this is change and it's happening quickly. Get ready for it. Expect the unexpected. The eternal God. Intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensations. You're going to be compensated for everything you've gone through. Thank God for that golden uh, golden lasso. Justice, Kaliel, 18. Whoa, the invocable God. It's going to seem like a miracle, ain't it? They don't see this coming. They're quaking. I hear their, shake, their knees are shaking. Justice makes truth known in court, causes innocence to prevail. Ten of Pentacles, I told you, it's your spiritual inheritance, 3D inheritance, or both. Or it's a large amount of money. Okay. It's going to bring you a legacy. This is a legacy. This is generational wealth, so you can continue your work here. Okay. So 36, you went within, did the, the work, and there, you're, you're being congratulated for this. This is also an investigation. They were hiding and cloaking so much. Manadel. In and out of work helps one keep their job and protects against disasters. So congratulations. They're going to jail. They're stuck. Somebody's losing their head. Maybe Archangel Michael's going to have to take a head off. A pair of shoulders. Let's bring back balance. You are the angel here of karma. God, protector, and savior. You are the bait. You are the setup. Truth and justice. Protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. I'm very happy for you. I am clapping for you. Sending you a lot of love. Hope you like the read, everyone. Until next time, take care.